Hello! So, I have stumbled upon a cool tool for world creators for VR chat uh, and or environment artists working on Unity games. Uh, so this is a tool called Decalory, Decalory uh, which is developed by Mr. F, who also created Bakery, the GPU light mapper for Unity. So, basically what Decalory is, is uh, it's in the name. It's a decal solution for adding surface details, uh, stuff for nooks and crannies, grime, bullet holes, cracks, graffiti, you name it. And the cool thing about this is uh, compared to a process I used to do all the time with graffiti where I'd atlas all of the textures together and then use a shrink wrap and displacement to offset the faces from the mesh and blah -de blah and it was such a time consuming process. So what the solution does is it takes a quad and it projects on a higher poly mesh and creates a new mesh that sits right on top of the area you would like to project a decal on in your scene. And so I'm gonna show you how to use that today. So here I have a few uh, or several little decals that I have collected over the years from a few friends. And I am going to show you how to use decalory. It's actually quite simple. Um, I've tried before putting all of the decals under one game object. Uh, I I'm just one day in, uh, in the last week that I've had this since I purchased it and uh, haven't found a way, but I'm sure over time I will find uh, another solution, uh, be it putting all of the, the textures on one mesh in something like Blender right above the surface and then projecting. But uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do these one by one. So on all of these objects, we need to add a decal group component. And so you'll see this little gizmo pop up. It's just showing the origin point of where the uh, where the texture is going to be projected on your mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something like this face. Um, let us put the face on. Let's put it something like on this base. So I'm going to use control shift F, which takes the object and focuses it on the, uh, on the, uh, the origin point of where I want to place this in 3D space. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'll move it down just a little bit. And uh, cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these guys. This one I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna try my darnest to, uh, let's just do this. Let's go like this, and then I'm gonna rotate this so it is vertical. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer and rotate it. Um, yeah, well, it looks looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just do that. Move it in a little bit, and yep, looks good. Eight kilogram. Let's just do simple one. Put it up against that wall. Scale it up. Rotate. Cool. And then final one. We'll just do this kind of like sticker bomb all over this angel right here and uh, I'm not going to be too precise with it so we're just demonstrating how this tool works so once you have all your decals in place all you have to do super duper easy is um, I'll just start with this one because I want to show how each one will behave as you come over here you go to uh, you can see these receivers you can all uh, do them by hand but there's this pick in scene button so you can see how the meshes that you want to project on highlight in blue so you just left click and adds them to this array right here and then what you do just hit live preview and you can see nothing is really showing up and that is because our forward distance is only set to 0.1 so once we increase it you can see how the decal is projected on the mesh you can actually see there's nothing in the hierarchy right here and as we increase the distance it creates a new mesh so as this mesh uh, is being mapped it's actually increasing the distance and it's creating a, a mesh 
uh, above the surface in real time. So what you say is just say update and gets rid of the original mesh renderer, just turns it off and it leaves us with our projected mesh. You can see, uh, I literally just had to configure a few settings and it was good to go. So you can see how powerful this is for mapping things like graffiti, for uh, surface imperfections, for bullets, for uh, many other things. So we're going to add that. We're going to do live preview again. And uh, if I didn't want to, let's say, have any distortion wrapping around like a curve, but in this case I do. So it'll, it'll uh, cover the whole surface. Might get a little warped. So I'm going to go down a little more. I think we're past the point of where it's actually going to project. So I think, I think we're good right here. Uh, Cause yeah, it's at an angle in which it's, um, unless I project a little further, there we go. That's all I had to do. Project a little bit further and yeah, you can see how it really stretches if it's uh, not in line with it. But we can, cool thing about this is we can do it in real time. We can scale it down. And then once we like where that is at, we just hit update and turns off mesh renderer. And there we go. And you can see it's created uh, a mesh that uh, houses our decal now. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. So these last two, I'm just gonna do really quick. So pick scene, boom. Uh, we'll do live preview so we can see update. That, bang, boom. Go to pick scene, pick this. Um, live preview, can't see it. So all we'll do is we'll increase distance. Boom, bada bing, update, and we are done. So yeah, if uh, you've, <laughs> like me, uh, gone through the, the pain of uh, creating little meshes that are going to house decals and uh, doing all of that by hand. It's, uh, it's a very lengthy process. You can see how powerful and how quick this, this is. So if you want to support Mr. F, go on the Unity Asset Store right now. It's 50% off currently. And um, yeah, I will provide the link in the description, reply, uh, whatever it may be, wherever I may post this video. So yeah, I uh, hope all of you have a wonderful 2025. See you later.